Sanger West Cast is a broadcast produced by students studying multimedia at Sanger West High School. The program is designed to inform, engage, and inspire the Sanger West community. It's a place where stories are told about the people and activities that make the school unique. So let's get sharing. Hello, my name is Nella Braseno. Welcome to the Singer Westcast. In this broadcast, we'll look at what's been happening around the campus so far this semester. We'll bring you highlights from the school's recent food festival, take a look at the new snack bar, learn about how students are helping kids in need by organizing a food pantry, and we'll talk to a new athletic and activities director about exciting changes coming to Sanger West. But first, it's registration time. Students have been signing up for classes for next year. Pathway night took place. It was a chance for current and future students to learn about some of the special programs and classes offered at Sanger West. Future Singer West students visited our campus and got a chance to learn about the Pathway programs offered during Pathway Night, held in the multi-purpose room. Many of the people who attended were 8th graders from schools like WAMS and Singer Academy. Pathway Night is an opportunity for our students and our families to get to know more about our pathways and the opportunities that are available to them. There were booths with information about art, video, education, and engineering classes. Clubs and sports were also represented. I'm in the patient care pathway, and basically we learn how to take care of our community and how to take care of other patients. The event gives upcoming Hornets the chance to plan their future. Even some elementary students and parents came out. We haven't seen the new high school, so we wanted to come out and see the new high school, and she'll be coming here hopefully in six years. So uh, Mr. Kennedy from John Wash invited us to come out and see what Pathways was all about. So. We're glad we came. It's not your typical Friday at Sanger West. We're having a food festival. Let's check it out. What food vendors are out here today? So today we have some familiar ones from last time, Milinda Tierra, Yosemite Concession, and Kona Ice, and me and Ed, we also brought out for the first time uh, Rice on Wheels, Burrito Queen, Dippin' Dots, and so we're excited to have them here. What are you most excited for in a food festival? Uh, the burrito, <laughs> the cream flux, uh, the deep rice. Um, mostly I'm excited to go to Rice on Wheels because I saw their Thai tea and it looked really good. And yeah, I think that's it. Most thing I'm most excited about is um, all the variety of foods and all the drinks that everyone can get, you know. Yeah. It's cool too because it's like a little festival and everything. Uh, I'm excited, you know, it's pretty good vibe, pretty good energy, everyone out here, you feel me, getting out of class, spending time together, you know, with friends. You know. Out of five stars, what would you rate this food? Uh, I would say four out of five because, I mean, it tasted good, but I had to wait a long time, so that kind of sucked. Honestly, I give it a quick a five. You know, all, all the food stands, they get all their customers pretty good, you know, food and everything. Not that much waiting around. You get your food pretty much fast. Out of five, I'll say a cool little four out of five. You feel me? It's pretty good. If you could change one thing about a food festival, what would you change? Oh, man. It's all good, but I mean, one thing I would change, honestly, nothing. I like all of it, to be honest. Um, I would say maybe a little less people just because it was you know too crowded and like there wasn't enough workers to like help serve anyone so like that's what I say on that. What is one thing that you did that was kind this week? 
Uh, one thing I did that was kind of this week is uh, give out money to all my friends so they can actually spend on this event. One thing I did was kind of this week, uh, I say hi to a lot of random people I didn't know and, you know, met, met a lot of new people, made some new friends. Well, that's a wrap on our Kindness Week Food Festival. Hope everyone left full and happy. For the Sanger Westcast, I'm Nolia Braceno. Hi, I'm Maria Sandoval. Students can expect more activities to take place as our campus continues to grow. Sanger West has hired an activities director. Ms. Rocker will lead the school's new leadership program. This is the group of students that will help organize and plan rallies, festivals, dances, and other events. She says that students will have a say in deciding what types of activities take place on campus. I think by having our own events here at Sanger West next year, we're going to be able to come together as a community, especially in terms of dances. I know a lot of students aren't able to go to the dances that are at Sanger High currently because they don't have the means of transportation in order to get out there. So making sure we're having those events here. So again, we're working on that school culture, making sure that we're all getting together and pumping each other up and having a good time. I think that's going to be what's really important in order to bring that school spirit here at Sanger West. Anyone interested in getting involved with the leadership class next year can contact their school counselor to learn more. The new school gym is expected to be ready when the next school year starts in August. Paneling is going up and the roof is being worked on. The gym will be used for sports like basketball, volleyball, and badminton. It will also be used for PE. There will be boys and girls locker rooms along with offices for PE teachers and coaches. On the next episode of the Westcast, we plan to go inside the new gym and give you a look at how construction is going. Sanger West is preparing to have its own sports teams next year. We will no longer be doing sports with the Bethel campus. Mr. Ben Wellows is the athletics director for Sanger West. His job is to oversee coaches and scheduling for all sports. He also organizes transportation and equipment. The plan is that uh, we are going to have everything here on campus. So the gym will be built. Uh, they're going to be working on the tennis courts as well and baseball, softball fields. So uh, the only field that we're going to be sharing is Tom Flores and that's going to be for football. Um, and we'll possibly be using their uh, facilities for swimming and diving and aquatics. Anchor West plans to offer all the same sports programs offered at Bethel campus, such as football, basketball, baseball, tennis, soccer, and volleyball. There will be JV and varsity teams only next year, meaning freshmen will have the opportunity to start playing out JV, not freshman teams. The really cool thing about uh, this opportunity of starting a program um, at, at a new high school is that you really get to start from the ground up and make it whatever you want it to be. And so I think that our student athletes are gonna be amazing uh, players for the game, but then also just amazing student athletes in the classroom as well. Students that want to get involved in sports can visit Mr. Benuelos in the office. He'll tell you what you need to do in order to join a Hornets team. Mm -hmm. The Sanger West Hornets football schedule has been released for the next season. The first regular season game will be against Sanger High School. This will be a historical matchup, the Hornets versus the Apaches. At Tom Flores Stadium, Friday, August 19th, mark your calendars. Have you tried out the new snack bar yet? Love it or hate it? As we found out, everyone has an opinion. The new snack bar is open. You can find chips, brownies, juice, slushies, and many more delicious treats. We've asked students what they think of the new snacks. The ones that I enjoy the most are popsicles. <laughs> the spicy Doritos. The paletas are a favorite treat among the students, but some just aren't satisfied with the options. They want more. Yeah, I'd love to see like, I don't know, talk about whole McDonald's in there, I don't know, Panera Bread. Something like fancy, like, you know? Some just want a little more decoration. I think it needs to have like a sign that says snack bar in like like neon stuff. You can visit the snack bar from the beginning of the school day till the end. It's located next to the NPR. Hi, I'm Helena Yang. The Sanger West Library is a great place to hang out and study. It's open during and after school hours. There's books, of course, but also plenty of opportunities to play games and do crafts. As we learned in this story, the library recently launched a special program where you can earn prizes for participation. There are a lot of exciting things going on within the Sanger West Library. A new library rewards program launched, where students can earn points for participating in library events or for having good behavior. The hope is that the library rewards program will help students get more involved in the library. Store prizes, and those are points prizes that you spend your points on. And then there's also level prizes, and that's where like no matter how many store points you spend, your level points just keep going up and up every time. 
Some of the prizes students can earn include snacks, like chips, as well as Rubik's Cubes and sketchbooks and other drawing materials. Students hold a critical role in helping this program succeed. A group of library volunteers help plan up these events, where students can do crafts and get to know each other. That's also how they earn points. Um, they'll be doing that by following the expectations of the library and also participating in events. I hope that the program becomes more well known and the students start interacting with it more. Well, by adding probably some activities like the maker spaces you see here, show them there's some cool prizes you do when you earn points. The Sanger West Library has its own Instagram page. You can follow them and learn more about upcoming events and fun happening in the library. Ms. Agnes, the librarian, has big hopes for the library and the student involvement moving forward. I think that it fosters engagement and community. Uh, so the goal is that there are educational activities paired with fun and the incentives, the excitement of prizes. Students can come to the library before school, at lunch, or after school to learn more about all things Sanger West Library related. This year, members of the Health Corps Club created a food pantry. This program takes donated food and gives it out to students in need. The pantry holds items such as canned foods, snacks, drinks, clothing, and toiletries. Students can grab what they need as long as they make sure to scan the QR code and track what they took. The students who are affected by this program are able to come home with food and able to provide not only them but their families too so they have something to eat. Teachers and adults can help contribute to the food pantry by donating during the annual food drive that we will have. Students can help um, with this program by spreading awareness about the food pantry and obviously donating, donating through the annual food drive would definitely help. This program hopes to decrease the amount of food insecurity students on campus face today. For more information, contact Ms. Atwell in room 116 or add the remind code at HealthWest. Still to come on the Sanger Westcast. Do you like to play video games? Our school is launching an esports team. We'll fill you in on what it's all about. The science fair recently took place. We'll introduce you to some Sanger West students who received awards for their work. Plus, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. We get artistic drawing some leprechauns. But first, remember, your mental health matters. Sadie, are you okay? You've been quiet. Oh, um, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I'll be right back. Hey Sanger West, make sure to follow Sanger West Productions on social media and you can win a two for four meal at Burger King. Sanger West Fellow Christian Athletes Club welcomed a special guest last month. Paul Luffler spoke to students during a lunchtime meeting. He's a sports broadcaster. Luffler is the voice of the Fresno State Bulldogs. He is a play-by-play -play announcer for Fresno State football, basketball, and baseball. He talked to students about his career and role Christ placed in his life. But they also got to hear me talk a little bit about what I do in sports, which is announce ball games and uh, travel all over the place. And I, I get to interview veterans too, which is really cool. But what I hope they heard is uh, that I really believe God's plans are better than mine, and maybe they'll see that in their own, pl in their own lives as well. I really liked it. I really liked the guest speaker, and uh, I think it was very motivational. And I don't normally go to this club, but it definitely helped. Uh, I think I might go now after seeing this. Students interested in joining FCA can learn more by visiting Ms. Taft, the club advisor. Next year, Sanger West hopes to have their own academic decathlon team, but that will only happen if students show an interest in forming an academic club. You can earn college credits, awards, and recognitions. To join Academic Decathlon, you need to have at least a 3.199 GPA. If you are interested in learning more, talk to your school counselor or Mr. Polanco. Hi, I'm Gabriela Velasco. Students from Sanger West took part in the Science Fair. It was held virtually this year. As you'll see in this video, we have some pretty smart students on our campus. 
So the science fair is an opportunity for students to design and create um, their own project. Um, they come up with a question or a concern that they may have. It may be um, in the environment. It may have to do with something personal um, that they want to investigate. And then they go ahead and run their experiment. And then after they run their experiment, they'll take data and then create um, their board. So that is what our science fair students have been doing. The idea behind my project was to create a potential herbal treatment um, for the underlying cellular cause of uh, Parkinson's disease, and that's caused by um, protein aggregation um, of the protein alpha synuclein. And so um, the point of my project was to identify whether curcumin, which is turmeric, can uh, potentially benefit it and uh, reduce the aggregation of alpha synuclein because that would in turn um, potentially become a medication for Parkinson's disease. So the idea of my project is basically me looking at videos during quarantine. I saw videos of people preserving fruits and other kind of vegetables. And I was curious about what exactly people are putting inside the body after leaving those jars for a long time. The idea behind my project was to see if pollution is preventable in transportation. I wanted to host Science Fair to give students who wanted to make a project the opportunity to uh, not only compete at the district level, but also compete at the uh, county level. And hopefully this year we have some students that make it to the uh, national level. Hi, I'm Matthew Gonzalez. Did you know Sanger West was starting an eSports team? It's a great opportunity for students who like to play video games to play competitively. As you'll see in this video, eSports is really growing in popularity. Sanger West is launching an eSports team where students will play video games competitively. They will be playing against other schools across the valley. The team will be coached by history teacher Mr. Samonte. He says having an eSports team will create new opportunities for our students. Basically what we're looking to do here on campus is provide an opportunity for those students who may want to compete on a team level but don't have an interest in traditional sports. Yeah, I'm really excited for the new eSports. I think it's going to be a really cool thing, especially because I've never done competitive playing before, and I think it's going to open up a lot of new games to try out. The first game students will play is Rocket League, but the plan is to offer more gaming options next school year. Sanger West has a lot of gamers, so interest in eSports is high. Uh, well, I want to be involved with the eSports team because I've been playing video games casually for a while and I thought it would be a fun change of pace to go professionally. So if you're interested in joining eSports team, uh, just drop by my room, room 209 at any of the breaks or after school and I'm more than happy to add you to our remind list and that way you'll be able to get any information as we're sending it out. Hello, my name is Matthew Gonzalez. My name is John Morales. And you may know us from Man on the Street, but today we'll be drawing a leprechaun for St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up on March 17th. Let's see who could draw better. Probably will be me, but here's the leprechaun we will be drawing, and I think Joe's ready to lose. What are you talking about? No, you're gonna lose. You're gonna 100%. take that back after. Yeah. You're gonna take that back. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Peace out. I need a lot of Lucky Charms, kids. Make sure to eat your Lucky Charms. That's why they have dentists to fix your teeth after you eat a bunch of Lucky Charms. Best cereal out there. If it's not, then it's really not. But you know, it's what? St. Patrick's Day. It's don't not. talk to me. It's Just don't talk to me anyway. That simple. Don't talk to me. Anymore. What's better? Fruity Pebbles are way better. No. Cocoa Pebbles, Reese's Puffs. You know, Besides the fact that it looks like cat food. Cocoa Pebbles. I'll allow that. Not gonna lie. Uh, you sure? Done. You're okay. done? I'm done. I'm done. Mine right. is better. I know. Mine no, it takes, doesn't. Mine takes more time. Why? Okay. okay. Why? Okay. Anyway. We... Honestly, I think mine is the best and it has my sign of approval, so it should be the best, but we can't determine that for ourselves. So, go vote on Sanger West Instagram and tell us, uh, take the poll, who, whose is better, you know? Personally, I think mine is better. You never know. Take the poll, Sanger West Productions, on Instagram. Yeah. Mine's the best.